Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. I am trying to get my head around what I'm doing today. I've got the next seven stages of the Diagostini Collectibles release of Build the Valentino Rossi M1 Motorcycle, but I've also got the missing stage 37 to do, so that means eight stages in total. Check this out. So obviously I'm going to start with stage 37 first. I did have the magazine last time, but I didn't have the parts. Uh, not a lot to do on that, so we'll get those done first. And then we'll move on to these seven that we got in the way. Now, with the delivery, something weird happened that we had stages, I think, 87, 88 and 89 turn up. Um, rather than what we're meant to do. I, I don't know what happened, but I put them in my box safely for when they come round. Uh, and we're going to build this up today. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one. Absolutely no idea what we're doing today, so we're going to be discovering that together. So without further ado, let's get cracking. <laughs> So the missing stage 37, I always show you what the magazines look like. Each stage comes with its own magazine here. Amazing photos there. And as you can see, we're going to do pipes, cables and exhaust flanges. So I'm going to be putting these pipes and the flanges on what looks to be the engine here. So uh, by the end of it, it's going to look like that. Now I had already mounted the engine onto this part here. So I'm hoping I can still get to these parts. So this is stage 37. I'm going to get everything out. I'm probably going to need a little bit of glue as well because I want to put these pipes in uh, so they're not going to fall out because these pipes are different lengths. You've got two the same, one slightly bigger and one really long one here. Now they're going to go on the end of these tabs here. So this one looking like that is going to go on one of the ones that are very similar. Then I've got the longer one here going on the next one there. And then these two smaller ones are going on these ones. So what I'm going to do is put these on the pipes, but I am going to just touch a little bit of glue in there so that they don't fall off. And there you go. That's all four ends on these pipes here. Now, the pipe that looks like this, I'm just going to put it in a little bit of glue again. That's going to go into this D-shaped hole that we've got on this side of the engine. Perfect, the glue is going to keep that into place. Now I've got my little pin vise with a normal dress pin stuck in the end because this is going to be going onto the nipple right here next to this silver pipe. If you're having problems with it going on the end, get yourself a cocktail stick, and just uh. Push it in and just keep turning it to open that end out a bit. It will help you out to put that on the end. Once you've done that, you should be able to put it on the end here. And this is where tweezers are your friend as well. Because you should probably have to push that on just like that. Now the second lead actually goes on the other side of the engine. So I am going to need to take off this bracket that I put on last time. There we go. So this one now, now I've taken that off. Again, I'm putting in a bit of glue. It's just going to go into the side here. Get that in. And then again, with my little pin vise here, there's a little nipple just here for this to go into. Just like that. I'll keep that side off for the minute, just in case I don't know where these ones go. Now, these leads here, you've got a smaller one and a longer one. It's the smaller one I want first. These are going to go into the two holes that we've got on this side, just above this section here. The smaller one in the left-hand side, the longer one in the right-hand side. Now, at this time, these two cables aren't actually connected. The only thing we've got left to do then is put these flanges on. And they are all labelled. So that one's R2. This one's L2. We've got R1 and L1. Now, they're going to match these cylinders here. And they've actually got the numbers inside as well. So I've got R2 here. That's going to go into R2 on this side here. I'm going to have to just move that pipe out of the way just to get that one in. And just continue doing it for all of these. So this one's R1. L2, and 
and finally L1. Now they have got a specific shape when you put them in. So that's why I haven't pushed them in all the way yet until I've matched that shape up with what's underneath there. The others are okay, so I can push them down. And there we go. They're all in. We've got these pipes here. The only things we haven't connected. This pipe up the top here is not connected yet. We've got this really long pipe which isn't connected yet as well. What I'm going to do is just put the side back on. And there we go. That's the side back on. And that is issue 37 completed. So now I've caught up. I can actually start on the parts for this pack. So quick time jump to stage 42. And as you can see here, this is what we've got. We've got the right hand side of the frame. So we've just uh, put the other frame back on. I'm gonna put the right hand side one back on now, just like this. So at the end, it's looking like that there. Now I had already done this connection uh, previously, but I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna put some uh, glue just on the nipple here behind the clutch. And the pipe that's coming from this side here it's going to go round, it's going to go on the left nipple closest to that clutch. Just on there, like that. Now this is the compressed air tank that we actually created in the last pack. You'll see we've got three lugs just on this section here. That's going to go into the three lugs that we've got just here behind the suspension here. One, two, three. And quite simply, just push that in. And there we go, that's in place like that. Now this pipe here, that's coming from the cylinder head on this side here, is gonna go into the bottom nipple that you can just about see there on the side of that compressed air assembly. I have to say, on this build, it's a lot easier to see where the pipes are going, which is a godsend. I'm not having any issues putting the pipes in. Now we have this 10 centimeter pipe here. This was provided in stage 43. I'm gonna be putting one side on just this gold section on the cylinder head here. You gotta put some oil on this so this pipe won't fall out. Use my tweezers to help me get this on. And then the other side of this is going on to again, this air pressure unit to the top nipple here. We haven't had a video where I've said nipple so many times. Get that on. And then gonna insert this that we created in the last pack again. It has got a little keyhole pattern on here. It's just gonna go on this side of the frame, just like that, just held in on its own for now. That is all there is to do in that stage. We do have the other bracket here, which we're gonna be assembling soon. So in stage 43, again, show you the magazine. Keep turning. And um, we're gonna be doing the uh, swim, swim garm, axle. <laughs> I had to read that upside down, nut and a dummy nut. It looks like we are actually putting this side onto the engine now. So by the look of it, it's looking like that. So I'm just feeding these wires around here that aren't going anywhere. So the wires we put earlier and the one coming from here is going sort of to the top of the engine um, and the others are just going towards the bottom. So when I put this on, it's not gonna get in the way of anything. Now, before we put that side on, we've got a nut which came, which just needs to go into that slot just there. Don't want that to fall out. Now this is gonna go on top, just making sure all these wires are where I need them. That looks good. Okay, so position it up, just kind of like this. It's going to take some fiddling to get everything into place. That's perfect. And then we're going to start putting these hex head screws into place here to hold this in. So, one here first, then the screw next to it. Two more into these holes here. These electric wow sticks, they do help to start off, but they haven't got the torque 
to screw them up so I'm having to do it by hand as you can see here. Then on this side we're going to be piecing these two bits together with two of those screws. See it starts good but then you're going to have to do it by hand. <laughs> that one's two and then finally using a size B normal screw this is just going to go into the other side of this section just here and there you go that is all there is to do in that stage what a massive section this is in stage 44 just turning through the magazine again looking like this as you can see we're going to be doing the rear shock absorber linkage and uh, reservoir uh, it looks like we're adding some parts that we might have had from last time but by the end of it it's looking like that so these are the parts that we had last time but uh, don't look like we're using them yet so i'm going to put that to one side and open the parts that we do get for this pack it's getting very confusing this is okay these are all metal So we've got the suspension, triangle, and the connecting rod here. I want to put the longer side of this connecting rod into this bottom section of the triangle just there. Hopefully you can see that. Excellent. Now we've got these long hex head screws, which are labelled as N. That's going to go in there to hold that together. Now put this in some oil. And get that all the way in now the other side of this is going to be going inside this bracket just here so i'm going to get that in like that once again that's going to be held in with a longer screw this time a p screw these have got a hex head again there we go that's in and i will just tighten that up now this is eventually going to be going attached in here we don't actually attach that yet we have got the gas reservoir here, just to piece together. So this gold section here is just going on the side. It is a D-shaped pattern, so it can clip in. Now I'll just drop some glue on the two lugs that we've got on the side there. That's gonna go on the underside of this suspension here with the gold section facing down. So I'm just gonna push that into place here. As you can see, that is now on like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 45 here, this is the magazine again. We're gonna be doing, we might be doing the exhaust system and the radiator supports. We've got all of these here, uh, but we're bringing over the manifold that we worked on earlier. So even though we've got parts for this, I don't know how much of that we're using. Let's check this out. I'm gonna get this exhaust system. Now, if you remember, I was in this for a while, that looks like that. Put that to one side, because we don't need that straight away. What we do need is the radiator assembly that we were working on previously as well. I'll open up this pack because there's some brackets in here that I need. And they look just like that. I'll put a bit of glue in them because they're going to go into these holes here. Slightly different. One of these pins is square, so that's going in that side, and one is at an angle here. Now, these connectors here, these are rubbery. We want the thicker end just to go over these points just here on each four, like that. Get these all on. These are the uh, lambda sensors. Now, do you remember when we first started this build, we were putting these exhaust flanges on from stage 37? I actually need the R1 and L1 ones, which I've got here, because R1 is going to go on this end just here and get that pushed on all the way. And L1 is going on this side over here. Bring over the engine, because we're now in the position to push all of these into place. So line everything up.
I am using my hammer just to help me get some of these smaller parts in. There you go. Now we've got this bracket here which is going to attach the end of the exhaust to the frame here. So first of all I need a type S screw just in the end of this one here. The other two screws are type V screws. And there we go, that's that bracket in. So I'm just going to make sure these are all tight now. And that exhaust is pretty much in place. Doesn't that look impressive? But that is all there is to do in that stage. Very fiddly some of these stages. Stage 46, again, turning through. See what we're doing. We've got some radiator hose and all oil pipes. I don't know if we're actually working with those. Uh, we may be. Yes, I think we are. So these are going to go in. Quite a quick stage, this one. So it's looking like that. Now these parts look just like this. And the first thing I want out of these two pipes here is the longer one. If I just turn this over, this longer oil pipe is just going to go into the D-shaped hole that we've got right here. Now there is also a locating lug on here as well so you can only put it in one way but that goes in like that shorter oil pipe it's this end that i want here that's just going into this point here again we've got a hole in here which is going to go over that lug there so i push it in it connects like that and then I've got this larger rubber pipe here, which is just going to go onto this section here. Perfect. And then finally, I've got the radiator support here, which came in the last pack. That's just going to go on the bottom of this section here. But this time, once I've got this in, it is going to be screwed in. It's going to be screwed in with a type K screw here. Perfect. I've zoomed out a little bit. If I have this upside down like that, we're now going to be putting on the radiator and I'm going to plug the two pipes here into these two holes and the larger pipe onto this one here. So let's get everything in, put this rubbery section on there and then finally the bracket here is going to attach to the outside of this section here. Again I need a type K screw just to connect that support bracket. It actually connects through this side here. There you go, and that's in. And then the last thing to do is just check that the two brackets down the bottom here line up with the frame and we're gonna be putting V screws in just these points here. So that's one side in. And here's the second one. That radiator's now in place. Looking very impressive, isn't it? <laughs> We've done so much in this stage. That's all there is to do in that stage. Which means the penultimate stage here, stage 47. Again, flicking through. We've got some pipes. It says the lander sensor and frame parts. We are working on those, so there is still some stuff previously that we haven't used at the moment. Namely, these parts just here. So uh, keep them to one side. And the first thing I want to do is we want to take this support bracket here. That's going to go on this side of the engine, just into these two holes. It's just a press in. So that's in like that. That is, just checking if that's a little, it is a little bit loose. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on those pegs. Now these little things here, if I show you like that, are steering stops. One of them's just going into this side here. So I have put some glue on this, but there we go, that's in there like that. If we just turn that round, we have got one to put in the other side as well. And there you go, that's in. Now we've got a cable guard, which again I'm gluing into place, just going into this side of the frame just here. There is an indent for that to go, so it looks like that. I've got a dummy nut cover here to put into this section just here, 
like this. Whoops. I have put glue on this. You can see it's sticking to me. And then I'll push this down. Just with my tweezers there. Excellent. Put that to one side. Because I've got two sections to go and create the lambda sensors again. It's this end which is going into these pipes. So one here. I have just zoomed up the cameras a little bit there. And one on this side. Now on this piece that we first put in on this stage. This little bit here that I clipped to the frame. I'm just going to be putting these cables in. Now they go in this direction. Away from this uh, black section here. I don't know what some of these sections are. I'm apologising that I'm not calling them the right names. But as you can see, one's going in there. I think I will put a little bit of glue just on that peg. I don't want these falling out. One's going in this side here. Perfect. They're just going off in this direction at the moment. And then on the nipples at the front here, we've just got these rubber pipes that we had from the lambda sensors from the exhaust. One's going on this side here. Takes a bit of wiggling. And the one from the bottom is just going into the other side. So they look just like that there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Which means the last stage, what a marathon session this was. Pack 48 here, or stage 48. Again, flick through the magazine. And we've got some hydraulic pipe work, which we are using in this stage by the look of it. Again, not a lot to do in this one, so by the end it's going to look just like this. So, first thing I want is this 50mm pipe, or 5 centimeters, And I'm going to attach that to the nipple on this section here. This is a hydraulic coupling. Then I'm going to be taking this coupling looking like that. And I'm going to be putting the shorter pipe into the top end. Like that. And in the tilted end down the bottom. Again, I'm just adding some glue just to that to help that pipe not come out. I'm going to be pushing the longer pipe like that now we're going to take this support bracket again i've got some lugs at the bottom just putting some glue on those because i'm going to press this into place into those lugs i keep calling them lugs these are holes i don't know the lugs are the pins so that fits in like that and then the shorter lead here is going to go around to that pin there so again i'm just going to put some glue just on that nipple get my tweezers to help me here so there we go that looks like that bring the engine over with the side that we've just been working on remember with these lambda sensors here and i'm going to be taking the pipe that we worked on first i'm just dropping this in a little bit of glue because this is going to go into the points here and here on the engine that's one in I'm just going to use my hammer just to get this one in. Perfect. So I've now got three leads coming out the top of this side here. And now the support bracket with these hydraulics on here are just going to go into these holes here, here and here. So this is a push in. Get everything lined up. And again, I'm only giving these light touches just to ensure they're in place. That looks good. All I've got then is another dummy nut here, which is going to go into this point just here. And again, what I do for these is I just get it as square as I can get it, like that. And again, just give it a gentle tap with a hammer to keep that in place. And that is the end of that stage. That's the end of that pack. How impressive does that look? So happy with that. <laughs> but there you go. I can't believe how much we've done in this stage. I don't know which way round it goes. <laughs> but it's looking really good, isn't it? Wow. And it's big. Look, everyone loves me measuring to my head. 
Even uh, Parkwork Upgrades Ian put a little uh, picture down there showing you how you can tell the difference between scow. But uh, looking really good. I'm going to gently put this down. <laughs> Actually, it's going around, I'm guessing, I don't know, kind of that way. But looking good. Gently, gently. There you go. If you want to get this for yourself, once again, I have put a link down here to the Diagostini Collectibles website. You can get this all the way from pack one, but I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.